master rounding of decimal numbers. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this playlist, we have very interesting questions based on decimal numbers. We are looking into the applications with rounding. Question number four here is, if two numbers are rounded to 23.25 and 13.70 respectively, means two different numbers rounded to these two numbers, then what can be their maximum sum, right? Related to this, we have question number five also, where what we have done is, if two numbers are rounded to 9.230, and 13.74 respectively, then what can be their minimum sum, right? Uh, let me remove this zero from here. We wanted 9.23 and 13.75 and the minimum sum, right? So, you're looking for a maximum and minimum sum when the numbers are rounded, in these cases, to hundredths place, correct? So, I'd like you to pause the video and answer these two questions and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are getting excellent marks and some are getting even awards and scholarships. Now, let us see how do we solve such a question. So, we are looking at two numbers which are 23.25 this is rounded to 100th place and 13.70 right if two numbers are rounded to this these are rounded numbers right then what can be the maximum sum means what well you have to see what number could be rounded to this right And we are looking for maximum sum, means both of them should be maximum, right? So, the number which could be rounded to 5 in the 100th place could be, you know, if I write a number next to it, which is 5 or more, it becomes 6, right? So, the, the greatest number which can be rounded to this will be 23.25, what? 4, right? And the number which can be rounded to 13.70 will be what? Well, it will be 13.7. We have to go to 7.0. So, so that means 7.04, right? If I make this last digit as 5, it becomes 7.1. And since we want the sum of these two, right? what can be their maximum sum. So, let us add these numbers. So, when you add the decimal numbers, you have to align the decimals and add respectively the, the positions, right? So, 4 and 4 is 8, 5 plus 0 is 5, 7 plus 2 is 9, 3 and 3 is 6, 2 and 1 is 3. So, that is the maximum number which you will get when these two numbers could have been rounded to this hundredth place and then added, you get the idea. So, that becomes a solution. So, is this concept clear to you? Perfect. Since you are very clear about how do we do with the maximum, you should be in a position to do the next question, correct? So, so this is the next question for you. We now have two numbers and the numbers are 9.23 and 13.74 and this time we are interested in finding the minimum sum. So, that means what is the lowest number which rounds to 9.23 hundredth place and another number 13.74 is the result of rounding. So, you can pause the video answer this question and then look into the solution that should help right. So, the lowest number, minimum sum, right, will be what? 9.2. So, 3 
will reduce it to 2 and round higher and that will be what? That will be 5, right? This will round to 9.23. Same is the case here. We have 13.7 and we could take 3, 5. So that will round to 7, 4. Get the idea. So that is the sum which is required. Perfect. Clear. Let's add them up, right? And see what do we get. So 5 and 5 is 10. 1, 6, 7 and 2 is 9. 9 and 3, 12. And 1, 22.960 becomes the minimum sum for the numbers in this case. You get the idea. So I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Thanks for your time and all the best.